Hello and welcome back to another episode of the West Ham portion of Unknown to World Known. We are back now for the final two games of the season and we can potentially grab a European spot. Now that's not going to be easy for us to do, but if you think we can pull it off, please do leave a like down below. Comment, do you think we can grab this European place? And subscribe if you are enjoying the content. It's been a while since I've actually asked for the uh, subscribes and the likes and things, so it, any support is greatly appreciated. Please do let me know if you're enjoying this. And also, of course, we're getting ready for FM24. That's going to be a lot of fun. However, in more pressing matters for today, we've got two games. We've got Southampton at home and we have got Sheffield United away. They are 16th and 18th respectively. So realistically, we should be getting six points from these games. If we do that, we'll put ourselves on 64 points which could make us finish as high as fifth Chelsea and Newcastle and Leeds and Manchester United and Leicester could all still overtake us that got worse the more I looked at it however what we do know Chelsea and Newcastle are about to play each other Newcastle have also got to play Leeds and have an eye on the Champions League final that's absolutely mad that they're in that position uh, Leeds only got Newcastle to play Manchester United have got Leicester to play so again one of the teams who are potentially in that battle and also I believe that said Manchester United have got Manchester City to play which could go even more in our favour if they can pick up points there unfortunately our old team Burnley have been relegated on 17 points Forest Sheffield United Fulham Southampton and Wolves are all still in that battle so we are against teams who are going to be fighting for survival. Our lineup today, we've got Onana in goal, Sanz, Ferrari, Sotalo, and Marmol as the back four. Marcos Antonio with Berg as the holding midfielders, Madueke on the right, Nekatia on the left, Sudakov through the middle, and Dowles up front. We have a highlight very early on in the game here, and McNally plays the ball out to the left hand side for Southampton to bring forward. Ball inside to Monsalve and Simon sends the ball forward. He let Sudikov get a little bit close to him there. Would have been nice for him to have allowed us to nick the ball. Shot from range, Onana tips it over the bar. There is, of course, also the prospect of potentially moving club at the end of this season. I'm not convinced that's the right thing for us to do, but it's a, uh, it's a possibility. Of course, also, <laughs> we've got the fact that we're expecting the FM24 beta probably before this series finishes. We're going to have to have a new plan for next year, I think. This year, it's unlikely it gets finished, but we are doing some other... We've been doing extra content, so, yeah, I think it can be excused. Nicotier has managed to nick the ball on this left-hand side, cuts it inside to Berg, who gets a trip, and Southampton clear it away up towards Monsalve, who's going to bring it forward for them. He looks absolutely huge, by the way. Hickley on the ball here. That was just Hickey. Taylor in space gets a shot off, but it goes over. Loser with a corner kick comes in. Onana claims it out of the air nice and easily. Onana gonna have a chance to spread the play. Sends it out to Ferrari, who sends it upfield quickly. Madoake collects it and back to signs. Madoake through towards Dowles. It doesn't get to him, but it falls to Nicotia. What a miss! Half time, nil nil, and it's not being great for us. I'm not really sure what to change, but that first half has been very poor for us. So hopefully, we can see it improve in this second half. Let's try pushing our line up a little bit further and take the ball off them a bit quicker. Free kick right on the edge of our area for Southampton. Not a position you want to see a team having a free kick in. Simons is stood over it and sends it wide. Cthulhu's throws the ball short to Mara and then they work it back into the middle. Taylor gets intercepted by Berg but they manage to get the ball back anyway. Mara going down on the right hand side, ball over the top, well done by Sotalo and Marmo heads it on to Nicotia. He gets past his man and he's breaking towards the box. He's got Dowles with him into the box, goes for goal himself. And because he went for goal himself, we're going to bring him off for Callum Hudson-Odoi. 
Berg can come off for Ward Prowse and then he can swap with Antonio and do coming on for Marmal. Sudakov on the ball plays it back to Ferrari and then Ward Prowse out towards Dude, but it wasn't a great pass, but we get away with it. Antonio out to Hudson Adoy. Inside to Sudakov, who goes over the top to Dows. Was he onside? He puts it in the back of the net, but the flag has gone up. It was just a question of whether that left back was playing him onside as the ball came over. He wasn't, unfortunately. Dude with a throw in, sends it to Hudson Adoy. Antonio in the middle. Sudakov puts it across the box. Madawake somehow doesn't beat the keeper from that position. He just rolls it into his leg. Ward Prowse with a corner kick. He's going to send it in. And this is probably our last roll of the dice in this game. Sends it in. It's head of the way. Hudson Adoy knocks it back to Ward Prowse. Better delivery this time. Dows was there but didn't challenge for the header. Loser heads it away. And now Dibbling for Southampton. Please don't turn around and put this in the back of our net. Ball back over the top. Sotalo deals with that nice and easy. And that is probably game over. So the game ends nil-nil. And we've got a little bit of a nervous wait to see what's happened in other games. Chelsea and Newcastle draw. Manchester United draw. Which means we kind of maintain our position. Manchester City beating Arsenal 5-1. That makes Arsenal's title hopes evaporate. But nevertheless, we are in a good position. So in between times, Newcastle and Manchester City have both picked up wins, as did Leicester. So going into the final day, we need Newcastle to slip up. They play Leeds away from home while we play Sheffield United. But they've got to drop points, otherwise we're not getting sixth place. Our lineup for this game is Onana in goal, Dest, Ferrari, Sitalo and Dude. Antonio and Berg, Madueke, Sudakov, Hudson Odoi, and of course, Dals up front. Palmer sends a long ball forward for Sheffield United. They're in behind. I don't know how that was an offside. Ball comes back to Brandon Williams on the edge, who curls it just wide at the far post. Dude throws the ball into Sudakov and back to Sotalo, and then Berg inside to Antonio and back to Onana so that we can build from the back. Ferrari brings the ball out of defence, goes forward towards Dals, but it was a poor ball, really. Dest wins the header, though, and we keep the ball. However, Madawake gets injured. Antonio collects it, and again, we're a little bit dodgy there, but Antonio to Sudikov to Dals, who turns and finds the top corner, but was Dals just offside? I get the bad feeling. He might well have been, and he was. Free kick for Sheffield United. Haters said over it. And what a strike. I think that hit the bar on its way over. Sotalo on the ball here. Ferrari and Antonio needs to get it forward. Madawake loses the ball nearly. Sudakov manages to retain possession. And Ferrari's going to play it forward again. Berg to Dowles. Turns and plays the ball through to Madawake, who puts it in the bottom corner. There's another offside check. Short, that one looked onside. That one looked onside to me. Please be onside. It is. Half time. We lead 1-0. What is going on elsewhere? Chelsea drawing with Tottenham. And Newcastle drawing with Leeds. So at the moment, we're heading to Europe. Williams with the ball on the left-hand side. Gets it back into the box for Sheffield Wednesday. Deaths with a good t Get out of here. Not a chance that's a penalty ref. No penalty. It's actually been overturned. Wonderful for stuff. Wonderful. Also, Leeds are leading against Newcastle, which puts us even just a little bit closer to that European spot. Kelly on the ball for Sheffield United. Plays it to Gatti. Out of interest, let's have a quick look. So we've lost... No, we've got the whole difference advantage against uh, Newcastle. But if 
we end up drawing will be level if they end 1-0. So it'll come down to goal scored. I don't know where we stand on that. Williams on the ball for West Ham, uh, for Sheffield United at left back. He plays it back inside to Munro and then they are playing it back to that left-hand side. Munro again. Gray goes over the top towards Storikins. I'm not sure how to say that. Gray on the edge, lays it off to Gatti, and there's a block. Don't drop in. Oh, my goodness. Sotalo clears it off the line. We're going to bring Warprout on for Antonio, and what might be Warprout's final ever game for us. Lukumi is coming on for Ferrari at the back, and Paqueta coming on for Sudikov as well. We've got one sided time gets included, about 10 minutes to go. Dude is on the ball on the left-hand side here, plays it inside to Paqueta. And then Warprouse collects it from him. Ball forward, straight through to Dowles. That should have been game over. If you wanted a chance to fall to someone, you'd have picked Dowles out every single time. Warprouse with the corner. Can he produce something special from here? We need a second goal, preferably. It falls to Sotalo. Turns and shoots. Dowles again with a chance. Berg, back to Warprouse. And oh, he gives it away cheaply on the edge of the area. And now Hayter is going to bring it forward for Sheffield United. Gray on the ball, left-hand side. Switches the play back into the middle. Hudson Odoi with a fantastic interception there. And we maintain possession. Madoake inside to Berg. Sends it out to the left-hand side. Bit too much curl on that. And it looked like the ball was going out of play. Newcastle have equalised against Leeds. Pakata inside to Warprouse. He loses the ball, and Williams gets the ball taken off him by Lukimi. That was an important interception there. Sotalo to Ward-Prowse, out to the right-hand side for Madoake. He keeps it in play. Loses it, though. Not good enough. We win the ball again. Dest. Knock it back to Ward-Prowse. There you go. Keep it calm. Sotalo oh, gives it away cheaply again. Williams attempted to be played through. Onana clears it away I was worried there was a moment coming there Hudson Odoi collects it cuts inside gets a shot off but it's a poor shot Gray on the ball for Sheffield United play continues ball over the top Storikins hits the post and Duke collects it Warprouse headers it away towards Dallas he brings it down and runs away from his defender strikes it over the bar but I think Newcastle are leading they are. All this is for nothing. Warprow sends the ball in. It's headed away. Berg doesn't manage to keep it. He gets kicked by Gatti and we've got a free kick, but we've got seconds to go. Warprow with a free kick. Oh, why didn't we beat Southampton? If we beat Southampton, we'd be so... Oh, we would have been in Europe. I mean, there's every chance because Newcastle are in the final, we might sneak into Europe anyway. It's a good win on the final day. But it would have felt so much better had Newcastle not turned their game around in the last 10 minutes. And that is the season over for us. We have our season review to go through. We're not really going to look at this because I think only a couple of them were our signings. We don't really care. We're expected to record a top half finish. We have indeed done that. The board do, however, say at one stage it looked like we were qualifying for the Europa League, so we shouldn't get too carried away. Depending on if Newcastle win the Champions League, I think we can still grab a qualification spot. I could be wrong on that. Our average home attendance, 99%, is fantastic. Our top goal scorer, Jasper Dows, with 38 goals in the Premier League. In the FA Cup, they wanted us to be competitive. We got to the fourth round and then lost 5-4 to Fulham in that cracking game. And then in the Carabao Cup, uh, they wanted us to be competitive. We got knocked out 5-1 to Ipswich, but apparently they were, ha they were happy with that. Don't know why. In the Premier League, our biggest win was a 5-0 win against Everton. Our match to remember was our 3-1 win against Everton. Apparently, in this save, West Ham don't like Everton is what I'm getting from that. And the goal of the season was for Dow's in that 5-4 game. We'll go and have a look at it. I don't look at them very often. 
But given that it was Dowles, it was his goal in the 67th minute. Because it was Dowles, we'll, we'll allow it. This is one of many goals that he scored this season. It's 38 just in the league. Um, we will have a look at the end of this, how many he scored overall. That's a weird goal to be your goal of the season, I'm going to be honest. That's why I don't normally look at them. But moving on. I'm fairly sure Dowles has scored better goals than that. It's a bit like the Salah one that won the Puskas. I remember seeing Liverpool fans saying, it's a good goal, but Salah's scored better goals than that one. But, you know. Sponsorship is down slightly. Broadcast revenue down by about 10 million. However, everything else rising up, which kind of counteracts the losses that we've got there. Dal Sudikov, Hudson Adoy, Paketa, and Madoeke are our top shirt sales. Don't know why Paketa's selling so well, given that he's determined to leave the club. Could say the same about Sudikov, actually. In all competitions, Dal's actually scored 42 goals from 41 appearances, with four of those being from the bench. What a record. The problem, of course, coming that our next top goal scorer had six. That That's one dimension if I've ever seen it. And that was our main problem this season. Most assists by a player in a season. Anthony getting 15. Most man of the matches. Dallas with 11. Highest fee paid was broken as well for Antonio. That was just before I arrived though. So Dallas unsurprisingly. Fans player of the season. Young player of the season. Goal of the season. Top goal scorer. It, it, was, it was pretty good. Yeah. It would be fair to say. So a pretty good season for us there. We're unlucky. To miss out on Europe. But what we will do. Is I'm going to just advance through. Uh, to the. Champions League final. We can have a look if Newcastle win it. And if they don't. We can find out. Do we get a European spot as a result. And we have. Qualified for the Europa League. So I believe that. Must mean Newcastle. Won the Champions League. They did 2-0 against PSG in the final. Have PSG won a Champions League yet? They haven't. That's hilarious. So PSG lose to Newcastle, which grants us a route into the Europa League. We're seemingly the only Premier League team in the Europa League. Because we've got one, two. We've got six teams in the Champions League. Is that even allowed? How's that happened? Like, genuinely? What, what, what's going on here? Uh, I don't know how this has ha gone on. They've won the FA Cup. Ar Arsenal have won the... Nothing. Liverpool... Are if anyone can explain to me how we're allowed six teams in the Champions League, please let me know. I don't know why City have qualified from fifth. Haven't a, haven't got a clue. Apparently, apparently they they do qualify for the Euro for the. Apparently they qualify for the Champions League from fifth place. I don't know when that change happened, but apparently it's a thing. It's worth noting. So we've got a sixty-seven million transfer budget. Uh, so we can look at what we want to do with that. Sixty-three million. Sorry. Uh, quite a bit of wage budget. Ninety percent of transfer revenue. So we've got money to work with. However, it is also worth noting that if we go into here and here, we have applied for the Juventus, the Dortmund and the Chelsea jobs. So we'll see if anything comes from those. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Comment, what do you think we can do with this West Ham team? Or do you think we get one of those jobs? Subscribe if you're enjoying the content and thank you very much for watching.